Hello, this is Kara Dreamer, starting a new game this weekend. Uh, probably not for very long, because I, I wanted to get to this earlier in the weekend, but didn't. Uh, I, I didn't manage my time well, let's put it that way. But I did promise you last week that I would start on this game, uh, and here I am starting it. Hive Swap, the Homestuck game, apparently. Um, and I should start off by saying I know absolutely nothing about Homestuck, uh, except that it's some kind of webcomic. Uh, it has a very enthusiastic and dedicated fandom. Uh, uh, comparisons to Undertale there. Uh, and um, so I thought it would be interesting to, to try to play this game, which is apparently... Uh, really oriented towards uh, Homestuck fans from the perspective of someone who is not a Homestuck fan, or who, who may very well become one, uh, but uh, who knows nothing about the lore, doesn't know any of the context of the characters or anything like that. Uh, so this will be an, a novel experience for me, and I will start in a few seconds. I also don't know what kind of game this is. Um, yeah, this this is basically about as cold as I've ever played any video game ever. Uh, so it should be amusing, I hope, to see me flail around this one. Uh, let me notify some friends about the uh, dreadful mistake that I'm about to make in my life. Almost ready. All right, here we go. Oop, wait a second. Get that set up. Got to make sure all my ducks are in a row here, that there's actually audio and stuff like that, that OBS hasn't crapped itself. All right. Um... As far as I could tell from looking at options, there's no controls to configure. Uh, that's that's hopeful because I yeah that's one of the things that usually gives me trouble in games. So I guess new. Oh, this is a pleasant scene. Couple of kids, cute doggo. Keep watching the skies. <gasps> Good doggo. Uh, I turned the volume on that down a little bit. Well, um. It's sort of like Centipedal from uh, the very first Steven Universe. Um, interesting, interesting household. Lots, lots of dead animals. Oh, Life Ride, I remember that. Well, okay. Um... Uh, do I type? Sorry, uh, I'm already confusing myself. You gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster, the thing with all the legs and teeth, the one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath. Let the uncertainties slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness and focus on what you know. 
Oh, okay, I'm being given a name. I was kind of hoping I could enter one in. My name is apparently Joey Claire. I live just outside the town of Haunt Switch. I am, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan. Uh, okay. I guess so am I, come to think of it. Uh, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. That's nice exposition there. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now, it might be headed back outside where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Uh... Yeah, but there's so many things I can apparently interact with, so I think I'm going to do that first. My brother can take care of himself. These posters, they resonate so powerfully with the very core of your being. The animals, the magic, the power, they whisper to you in your dreams. Secrets of a better world on the other side of the stars. Uh, that's the tone this is striking, huh? These look like those, uh, was it, Lisa Frank posters? At least have a unicorn one. Or, uh, there's a folder, not a poster. Okay, I suppose I can... That tells me I can go outside. I can look... Today, it's the 11th of November! So it's Armistice Day. Today started off just like any other day. With another surprise... Another... God, I'm not even reading properly. With another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hot wild out there in the trees mixed metaphor there, I would say. But their songs have all but stopped, and now there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. Okay. Uh, Mark. Already marked today's date as part of your daily routine. If anyone claims that you didn't exist on the date of the 10th of November, 1994, you could shove that big red X right in their face and prove them wrong. Oh, this is a period piece. The 90s. Yeah, I sort of remember the 90s. I was failing out of college in the early 90s. Let's see here, uh... Oh yeah, look, there's a lot to interact with. Uh, and I'm just gonna take time doing that. Along with ballet, you also study tap dancing. You haven't decided which you prefer. Ballet is fun, but taps also fun in a different kind of way. You have considered blending the two, wearing one tap shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time, but decided to fully master both and earn the respect of your teachers before unveiling your boundary-shattering ballop style to the world. Okay. Uh, toaster oven. It's easy to make your very own cake, or something like that. You were really excited to get this for your birthday last year, but you ran out of the baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you have those things just sitting around. Who does, honestly? People with moms, you guess. Oh dear. Well, this dad doesn't know how to cook. No. <laughs> your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said, this wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardy orb, just swimming in spells and glitter. He will protect you. But he's doing it right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. Scrub, scrub, scrub the screen. You've got more pressing concerns right now than the book report that you have to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. Your teachers seem oddly fixated on award-winning books where beloved dogs are introduced and then inevitably die. You kind of hate your teachers sometimes. Well, Joey looks frantic, but sorry Joey, you're sticking in this room for a bit longer. Mom won this award at around the same age as you for being the best at ballet. It's pretty. That makes me think of Stanley Kubrick. 
there's a there's a, a scene involving a, a, a me, the memory of a ballet dancer in, in uh, one of his very earliest films, uh, Killer's Kiss. Hey, I got a visitor. Hello. Okay. stuff uh, okay I already looked at that they should they should be pretty safe on the shelf which is the point of shelves you suppose that's it This is a raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours every day unconscious and hallucinating, usually while the majority of the other people on the continent are also doing the same thing. Oh yeah, I do prefer to, uh, uh, to just answer verbally. Okay. Puppy surprises, Evie. Puppies! How many? That's the surprise! Puppy surprise! Puppy surprise! Oh dear. Oh. Whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. Wait, what did I just click on? Oh, I guess the... It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her bedroom from a snake monster. Yes, I think I think the game is kind of reminding you that, that you are in the middle of something. Uh, I can't look out the window, it looks like. You try to remember if Clarissa ever got in any jams like this. You have so much in common. Annoying little brother, computer in your room, um, second story bedroom, as much as you hate to admit it, Clarissa's life deviates from yours on a number of vertices. Her parents were around, she had a cool friend who was a boy but not her boyfriend, no monsters in the yard, etc. Your walkie-talkie, half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, look, more room. Uh, and, and a view. It's a little light. Uh, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. I suspect that a quest is about to start. And I wonder, what, what age range is this game oriented to? It, it does seem a bit juvenile. Uh, you know, I'm not complaining, but... Uh, this is Sir Bappy Pawswater, your beloved man manthro chap. You tend to his fussy whims and needs when you trouble to imagine what they might be. What a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of human animals and... Wait, you mean humanity. Anyway, Sir Bappy Pawswater will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. One day, you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you could be the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters, so that when someone catches you in the act of snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. Then they'll have to take the hike, not you. Got him. What, what happened? Okay, the computer. Your mo <laughs> your modem always makes a mighty racket logging you on. Probably not worth riling up any hallway snakes to surf your sights right now. It's not like there's much new to see anyway. You're sure that Jude would have let you know if anyone in your web ring had up up updated their sights. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, sort of 
I myself, I first got online in uh, either late '92 or early '93. I can't, I real, I can't remember exactly when. Uh, and um, this is when I was at Caltech, and. Uh, yeah, so like I, I definitely have fond memories of the really the really early web where, where it was just all uh, you know, we're all using NCSA Mosaic and uh, the uh, um, you know most of you know the most complicated website that, that you might visit on a regular basis would be like IMDb which started really early uh, and uh, and yeah you can still kind of you know like. I'd say that probably half the time during ninety that those you know, Caltech years that ended in ninety four uh, that uh, uh, I was largely getting online through like a VT two twenty terminal uh, and uh, uh, using console apps and uh, I liked it just fine. What can I say? It was a simpler time. Bappy pops pause water. Unicorn! Uh, I guess I could walk over here and look out the window maybe. Yeah, this is just a. D yeah. Uh, I, I th no, I don't know. I, I'm not getting a quite a good sense of uh, geography here. Okay, here it looks like I can look out the window. Alright, uh. What am I looking at? Yikes! More of them? Gentrification is a real monster! Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope you and your brother aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Hey, Glide! Remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog, Newt, your dog knocked Jude over, and you laughed. And then everything turned to monsters. Ah, memories. You, you briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. What could it represent? The past? The future? America? It's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. I guess he's flashing a mirror or something like that. Uh, scrub, scrub, scrub. Poor puppy, if that icky snaky thing hurt her, well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her up and make it all better. But you'd also be very angry. Right now, she doesn't want to see him to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. Why am I adopting this silly voice? It'd be nice if those monsters were as weirded out by that weird skull fountain as you are. Unfortunately, that thing is probably monster chic. I think... Oh, can I click on the uh, bat things? They're on the moon, anyway. The sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to Earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. Uh. Oh, that does the same thing. And what's this? Oh, this. Nothing in particular. I might as well see, see like, saving, uh... Like, if, if I could just sort of, you know, save my ass off in this game, you know, I, like, I have no idea how deadly or difficult a game this, this, uh, this is gonna be yet, so I have no idea how often I'll be saving. I think I've probably interacted with everything that I can here. Okay. Uh, can't click on the on the pony, unfortunately. Bean bags are making a big comeback lately. It beats sitting on the floor, and that's all you can really ask of a bean bag. Changa. See, is, is that different? No, same same view. Do do. 
A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry, cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You can spend all day enlisting them. There's Bubsy, there's... <clears throat> Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. I have no idea what that is, if that's a joke. <laughs> so... I have been told that I have a, a voice that, that I've been told that I have a radio voice that if I wanted to I could really make myself sound like an announcer unfortunately make myself sound like a male announcer which kind of bothers me that it's it's funny because up and up until um, when I was pre you know egg mode and I was pre you know transition um, one of the very few things that I kind of liked about myself uh, was my voice. I felt that I had a, uh, an expressive uh, voice, uh, more, be better than average anyway. And now my voice feels a little incongruous, like, is this really what Kara Dreamer should sound like? But, I don't know. That's... don't know what to do about that. Anyway, back to the game. Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to, or bluer beauties. Ouch! So that's kind of what makes you wonder if his mother's dead, and if dad's just kind of semi-gone, then who's taking care of Joey and her, and her brother here? That little girl there, she's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big lonelinesses. Now, hold on. Pull yourself together. What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew. Ooh. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead. But you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible, snaky thing. It's locked! If you wish to gain access to your long-buried or recently-buried secrets, you'll have to use the diary key, which I'm guessing is in this room somewhere. Pens don't work. Yeah. All right. The goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who is trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're kind of a showy jerk. I like the. All right. I got, take a, a, a note here. At the uh, kind of a. Uh, phony posters, uh, like, the story keeps happening, ha ha, the never-ending story, uh, hot steppin', which, uh, god, I mean, there, there were a whole bunch of, like, shitty dance, dancing movies that came out around the time, like, like, Footloose, uh, Foot oh, Footloose is 80s, wasn't it? Uh, anyway... Oh, I can click them. Okay, uh... Hot Steppin'. You really... You don't really perform the styles of dance that make this movie such a pulse-pounding barn burner of a smash hit, but you'd certainly like to someday. Canadian Campfire Spookums is the best. It's about these kids who get, get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws some dust in a fire, and then they tell a scary story, and that scary story is the episode. Wait, wasn't I just watching someone play a, like a, a really crappy FMV game that was basically that? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, damn. Anyway, you guess you kind of focused more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. It's the best, just like you said. 
Is that supposed to be some kind of meta comment? Acorn Shadow is surpri surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. I kind of want... Yeah, so, that sort of makes me wonder what that could be. Because that seems sort of like a Ponies reference. Uh, but, uh... Um, but it also kind of suggests, uh, uh, like, gargoyles, maybe. You love Block Hustle, the game of descending columns that disappear as lines are filled, but uh, you can only find a poster of the American box art. Ha ha. Second mob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. After after all of the you know spending what seemed like 17 years of my life playing mother games, uh, that's just devastating to me. <laughs> this game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school who says his uncle works at a games company, and he says gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off at the mouth like he has all this insider information and sources inside the game companies, but honestly, you think he's just read Nintendo Power. <laughs> oh, God. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things like this super cool poster, Second Mom Rules. Alright, what do we got here? What could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if you were here. He'd never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head. Forever. Echoing like screams echo across still water. Ooh, so, yeah, like, uh, it's... Bubsy is obviously, uh, I don't, like, what's this a reference to? Like, s someone really popular, but really grating, like, 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 Sonic or something. G oh, Ginger Rogers. Gosh, he's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the screen, probably? No, wait, definitely! And still kicking. Oh, Bubsy was it was real. The bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot them, or change your shape, or both at once. She's cool, but pretty difficult to emulate. Okay, I think I haven't done this one yet. The story keeps happening! Just look at that childlike empress. She, lo she sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Um, I should mention I've never actually seen the never-ending story, so... Uh, there, there's probably some joke there I'm, I'm missing. Oh, okay, I already looked at that stuff. Hungry, hungry hippos... Uh, you really like this poster, but you can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if it's... You wonder if this is what it's like when adults go to museums to look at actual art. You hope so. Yeah, it kind of is, actually. Okay. really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Well, let me guess. Is this, uh, something that you get a stat, increase a stat with? Oh, right! That's where you put the, oh, uh, charge was just a, a, a hint, okay. 
That's where you put the walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake first. Jude's probably fine. God, I'm not... Okay, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. Like, she's got... Alright. When I was a kid, I so wanted a 4x4x4 Rubik's Cube. I, like, read about it. But I, I knew that it existed from an article in Scientific American, of all places. Uh, and I never could find one. Uh, and I, you know, nowadays you can get like nine by nine by nine ones for twenty bucks online uh, or something like that. It, it's, you know, uh, I, I wish I were any good at those puzzles, mind you. I'm not. You give it a good hard stare. Yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible for anyone to appreciate it more. So, alright, well, I guess I can... There we go. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. You feel pretty pleased for your, with yourself. It would, it would seem you just solved the first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it. Oh, uh, I... So, I've seen the 2x2x2, two by two by two, but I've seen an even cuter, smaller one. Uh, the, 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 the very simplest, non-trivial puzzle, which is the 1x2x3. Okay, um, uh, now what? Oh, I guess I can use... Is that like, I, I don't understand uh, the interface quite yet. Jude, you there? You alright? Yes! Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours, over. You mean the lantern, I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code, over. Ape enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait. On over. Still unconfirmed vis-a-vis -vis your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross. Over. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo, but thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great. Was worried. Over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location yard crawling... Sorry. No plans of leaving current location yard crawling with cryptid vanguard. Over. Uh, cryptid vanguard? Missing big picture, Joey. Over. Okay, maybe a little less obtuse then? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monster is likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or... Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Antares class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Over. 
Relieved you're taking this seriously. Are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, you dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. I trust you. Okay, that, that's, that's fair. Okay, what do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic. Joey, over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door, well stocked with tactical materiel. Take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in house, over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... No, no. Even, even as a kid... I'm going to assume that I know better than to call the fucking cops. Call our babysitter! Too late to reach her at lab, working date, long done, over. Oh no, you're right. Agreed on both counts. Babysitter capable Strifer could help tip scales. Might also help convince you to get to safety. Jude, I'm, I'm gonna go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm, I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. What weapon? What, you mean, you might mean an old weapon? What for? Serpents swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight. Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents, over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where weapon is, over? Yeah, yeah it's in the closet. Understood. I'll set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. Yeah, well, I guess you'll have to take... I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. I suppose I should be doing like a try, like trying to do like a little little kid uh, voice for for the brother. Uh, uh, I might try that next time. Because like she's got this smile on her face. See, it's like you're all in horrible danger, but it's like oh god, my brother's such a dork. Anyway, uh, how do I get out of here? Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna save. What does this do? Uh, nothing, looks like. Hey, what did I just do? I did something weird. Just by clicking. Alright. Oh, I can't just save arbitrarily? So, I was able to save, like, here. Does that mean I have to be looking out the window to save? Because if I'm here... Oh no, so, yeah, the option... I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. Oh well. Ow. Oh! You, uh, okay, I, I have to find my diary key then. Um, you don't want to leave without writing what could be your last words ever in your diary. Exciting stuff happens to you once in a green moon. Or, or was it blue? You're too excited to think about moon colors now. 
No, you're definitely not just stalling for excuses to avoid going out facing that beast. Alright, uh, key, key. Uh, this is where you keep your clothes. If you consider your fashion statement to be fun and uncomfortable and try to model yourself on Clarissa. Ah, Clarissa. She really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. So I can open... I... Oh, look at that salt does. You could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's, who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. Alright, come on. I need to find a key. Where do I find a key? What have I, what have I not looked at? I already looked in there. I think. No, I didn't. Your babysitter got you this Junior Veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. It would really bust you up if something happened to it. haven't I looked at? So, diary key, diary key. I have to admit I just decided to quickly run to Google and look it up. Uh, I know that's lame, but... Uh... Okay, back to the stream, back to the stream. Okay, so I am supposed to check the bed. There's your bed. Uh, it's just doing the same things. Uh... Is there something else I should be doing? Or something else around the bed? inside the expectant plush canine and puppy surprises having puppies and there's the key she actually came with five puppies but you gave two away to make room for other stuff you don't know anybody else who got five some kid from school got four in hers and she wouldn't shut up about it for a week you're not one to brag but yeah you walked in you walked with a little spring in your step for a while after birthing that quintet of pups. Maybe your five puppy people are just cut from a different cloth. Ah, yes. No one would ever think to look for your precious diary key inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who was upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here with everything that's going on. While well, you're at it, yeah. Just a feeling of deep, inexplicable, misspelled, impossible to ignore feeling. Oh, 
Oh, that's. I thought <laughs> for a moment I thought that the weird key was the the uh, the uh, the diary key. Like that, that there was a little bit of a joke going on. You unlock and open your diary. Nice, juicy secrets. Here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. What do we got here? I. Let's see here. I can't believe I haven't recorded any entry, presumably, since the beginning of last summer. Something to say, I've been back to school next summer, can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. She means well, though. Man. So... Mom's dead, Dad's never around, and the babysitter's an alcoholic. Well, great. I haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad when we were growing up? I miss Mom. Joey. Jesus. That's, that's really sad. You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the humdrum life you lead, but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a horrible, snaky thing. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a causal cascade of connections that terminates the catastrophe of snake monsters. Hmm. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary. Hello, oh, hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Oh well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can't can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. Well, I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. Kids at school are jerks, though. They called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be... evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Phew! First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Oh dear, don't you feel that one sometimes. God. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I came home to a drunk... Oh, this is just what we just read. So I'm just going to kind of skip through this. I miss Mom. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum, you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, Forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Possibly hungry for kid meat, too. So I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do. But I'll fill you in later once I do it, Joey. I have to admit that that's not exactly the most terrifying... Like, if I stumbled across this... I, I would not be, oh my god, what the fuck happened to this little girl? I, I don't know, it, it, it seems rather uh, uh, non-threatening. Anyway. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and 
Hide the key again. Safe and sound. If writing a diary about tactics, please share over. Wait, how did he know? I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. Click. Beep. Can't can see you through window. You are making sound with mouth over and out. <laughs> Joey does sound like a shitload of fun, though. I mean, Joey's brother, rather. Uh, Jude. Jude. Okay, now I guess I can leave the room. Getting about this game seems to be a bit of a palaver. Look at this! Look at this house! Just flip and look at it! Like... If... if... Ugh... Sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I, I, I guess what I'm feeling is like, you know, if my house had this much cool shit all over it, like, I would have had a much happier childhood. Better hurry over to that hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, could get the drop on you. Alright, uh, I assume that there's shitloads of shit to interact with here. It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. God, that... To that xylophone. Look at what we got here. Oh, yeah, that, that's... Like, I was kind of the same thing, same, same, same with me. I, I don't talk about it a lot, but I very rarely got to see the inside of anyone else's house as a kid, because my mom was really, didn't like, didn't like us leaving the house, it's plain and simple as that. And, uh, so yeah, like, visiting, visiting someone else's, uh, place ended up seeming like this weird adventure. Anyway, I gotta read. The, 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 lightning's, the lightning story was only a clever distraction masking his secret abduction. Nope, his friend's bottom... I have no idea what's going on here. Wait, what? Jude insisted the terrified horse is being abducted. The counter-argument completely schooled him. This painting now commemorates your triumph and a particularly spectacular equine nativity. Uh, uh, okay. Gotcha. I can't interact with the suction cup arrows. Nope. This thing's always giving you the creeps. That didn't stop you from patching it up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. From the first and last dart gun war with Jude, Belinda here provides great cover for those who refuse to use firearms, but namely you. You tried to distract him with your tap dancing, and then stick a dart on him. It didn't work at all! That, that's, that is, like, okay, I would, how many houses have a, have a sculpture that big in them? Let's see here, down there. It's a globe-like structure with an arrow that conveniently alerts you to the location of the ceiling. Ah, so that's where it is. Thank you, globe-like structure. Give it a tap. Look at it go. Yep. That was stimulating. Wait. So, 
I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatter over... I can't, I'm not... Why am I doing this in a grown-up voice? It's this little kid saying these things. I just... I can't make myself sound like a little kid. Oh, yeah, right. Bye. Could alert monsters. Over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. Silence golden. Over. Jude, shut up. Remember, one time on training mission, couldn't keep my trap shut. Oh boy, really land us, landed us in a pickle. Over. You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. Over and click. So you can interact. Skulls. Because, yeah, why not? What the? Uh, light bright. Here we go. You're light bright. Hours of fun with a number of hours and a degree of fun dependent on the power of your imagination, which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. My parents did get me some toys, but they never got me a light bright, and I, I, I kind of wonder whether I would have actually liked it or thought it was lame up, up close. I honestly don't know. always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like the eye is following you, but only sometimes. This lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light sources in your immediate area, so maybe it got lost in the typically well-illuminated shuffle. That. What have I got here? Who's, I assume that's uh, Jude's room. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt that you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd stink and huber crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let you deal with. That sounds tr promising, like, like, well maybe it's a lizard. He always keeps it locked. Even if you did manage to get in, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No thanks. Damn it. It's like Sans's room. Just re ju Jude recommended you grab your strife weapon from the hall closet and head up to the attic as quick as you can. You're sticking with that plan for now. Uh, looks like that probably would have led me downstairs, I guess. Uh, so... Bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically, a pile of useless trash. Okay, this is actually going to the attic. It looks like so. I need to get. This. The hallway seems spookier from this side. Frankly, you feel a little spookier yourself, just basking in its spooky aura. So, there's obviously no closet door here. It's this way. Or, oh, this maybe? Yeah. It's the hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in here. You wonder if it has what you're looking for. You think back to before. Back to when this closet door was shut, you had a reasonably good guess about what was inside. But now, your guess is even more reasonable. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Hmm, 
wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you can just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Another puzzle, huh? So either I should get something to step on, or I should get my shoes. Well... Oh, I should have looked first, because I haven't actually looked at my door yet. Let's see, where were those shoes? Here we go. You add the tap dance abilitech to your technique. Yep, those are the words that refer to those concepts. You learn them literally just now. These will help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Okay, now I'll look. Oh, look, there's a little deer again. I swear to God, I'm just gonna start sticking my wall with this random cutesy stuff like this. Like, my, I have not decorated my room. I mean, this is my altar. Uh, you know, it's, it's got some cute things on it, and there's like plushies and stuff. But like, the room is just still drab and maroon colored, or, or whatever the color of the paint is here. I've done nothing with it. I haven't even put up uh, any art, really. Anyway, sorry, just blue skying. Uh, let's see here. It's not letting me... Is it letting me... Yeah. The door to your room. Heavily personalized, of course. Jude thinks he's the only one who can nerd up his door. But you showed him too can, and in fact, will play at that game. Okay, let's get the game back on the road, so to speak. So, how do I do this? I guess, do I just go over? Or do I need to be closer, or... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright! I wonder what's stashed in here. Nothing fragile, you hope. You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an old pair of, old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh hey, there's some pet treats in here too. You keep caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click. No dice. Another battery problem? You open it up. Wait, there's no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap. Forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. Fine. Okay, but I'm not going to take especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Over. Ugh, you and Mulder. This scully pog is obviously worse. So, alright. So that's that's it, huh? These these kids are are uh, X Files LARPers, is that it? Drums acceptable, please keep them safe. She's yours, over. Uh, so I guess head up to the attic now. That is the plan, over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative. Over and out. Okay, this way. You've got this toy caterpillar, so you can learn how to cure caterpillar diseases. But it turns out, plush caterpillars don't get sick. Still pretty cute, though. Aww, the caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least no one's being taken advantage of. You're loath to touch it and disturb whatever astronomically improbable equilibrium is at play. Best just leave it be. 
house is looking a bit ramshackled. A bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically, a pile of useless trash. On the rare occasions he is home, Pa can be heard bumping around up here while tending to his horn of stupid antique trash. Or priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. Man. Dad, you're... you're... It's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. Peer through the keyhole. Uh-oh. Well... Yeah, I like there's this... Weird. What the heck was that thing? How long has it been in there? Hey, the attic door's locked. Cripes. Forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part. Over. It's fine. No big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a lock. It, it's not. It is. Is it not fine? Over. Jude! Panic. Not necessary. Still need to get you to attic. Over. For safety. Right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that. Over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please, just need you to head to trophy room. Over. Oh, it's gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Over. Fine. Over and out. Yeah, they both think their dad's a fuck. Okay, exit, I guess. So, trophy room, huh? Well... So, downstairs, I guess, now. Pictures! Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Let's go. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened. Maybe a betrayal? No, impossible. Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anyone in his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. So, yeah, there's something interesting going on here because dad apparently at some point kind of went manic into hunting i mean there's this picture Ugh, you can't even look at this picture you deplore cruelty to animals one of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye one of the other ways was how he never actually looked at you much let alone at your eyes Yeah, adds force to, you know, her talking about wanting to be a veterinarian, basically being the opposite of, of her dad, is, 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 like, in the most dramatic possible way. He's someone who takes animals' lives and she wants to save them. Mom is the picture of grace and radiance. Pa is just Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache, or at least one of the two. There aren't any pictures of the three of you together, so we tried to make one, although the, through the art of composition, by hanging these here, these three solo photos together, it's kind of like there's a photo of all three of you, sort of. A lovely diptych of school portraits, the laser background, the bad hair days, simply perfection. Ha! <laughs> Dude puts the dip in diptych mutter to yourself. Such an unreal burn on an unsuspecting chump. But he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe neither do you? <laughs> pa, and someone you presume is his sister? Nobody has ever mentioned, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think you might have 
might have like a second cousin out there you never met. Maybe she died young. The old timey times are pretty rough. You and your very good dog. Aww. Ooh la la! There is mom looking tray glamnifique. Glamnifique. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. Ooh, wow! <laughs> So, head to the trophy room. Affirmative, over. Got it. Over and out. Wait, uh, no, those are the pictures. Okay. This guy... What's he, what's he so happy about, anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever your, that your pa plundered it from. <laughs> oh, Jesus! She fucking hates him! That's a, you know, that's a noodle jerk. <laughs> well... It seems that the power is out. Should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power is out. Classic psyops, over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally, over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting the trophy room, then. Over. Fine, then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. God, that's... I'm loving the banter. I, I really am. Wow. Is this just a great room? Or is... Uh, yeah, like, this isn't the actual trophy room. Uh, I'm guessing. Ugh. Look at those fucking things. I just have to take in this room here. One of your pa's recent victims. You love animals. He loves killing animals and turning, turning them into ghoulish trophies, celebrating his victory over nature. Yeah, big man, as long as he's got a big stupid gun. It's a bear that your pa shot and turned into a trophy. Now all his friends who come into this room will think, Oh, this guy shot a bear. Okay. Except he really doesn't have any friends, and he's never here. So it's just a nice, big, horrifying thing for you to deal with. Ouch! A piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. Those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Also, you, um, you can't. Oh, I'm gonna try. Oh, that would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead? Something in a minor key, perhaps. It's a shame that would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you you can't really play the piano. Oh. This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. If your paw has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Oh, she stuck band-aids all over it as if to make it better. Oh. Hmm, you wonder if he'll be driving by then. To college? Where you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed? <sighs> Well, 
The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness, you'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. Scene. God, the. Ugh. So, another little personal thing. Um, you know, I. Uh, uh, you know, my dead animal stuff, like hunting trophies and stuff, bugged the shit out of me too. And, uh, like, we. the our, My polycule, like, uh, Daria Gravis and I uh, all went uh, back in March on a little. Uh, vacation away just like you're just like a long weekend uh and we got a cabin you know kind of civilized camping and uh uh it had a real fun time but one of the little downsides is that we ended up in a the cabin ended up decorated kind of like this there's lots of gu gaws all over the place including like you know rifles and and uh, uh animal heads and stuff like that it's a little touch to the macabre honestly uh, the lamp makes you blush brighter than the lamp itself. Interesting. I don't know, like, she, she gets all blushy, like, like, has she got, kind of got, like, a crush on this, um, blue, blue you know, blue-haired beauty here? Oh, alright. You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the lion looks so... alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that, or they painted it very, very fast. Oh wait, uh, I missed that. Uh, Teddy, the teddy bear outpatient clinic is for stuffed animals who require treatment, but not an overnight stay. It's not just for stuffed bears, of course. It was named for its founder and chief physician, Arsula Teddy Bear. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, you know... When she gets all blushy, it's sort of like, eh, that's, that's getting a bit more than just admiring someone. Oh, hey, Kalen. Boy, your pa gets really inventive with his taxidermy, huh? What a ghoul. Oh, so he, he, he made all this shit, huh? That, that's, that's great. Uh, that's, that's lovely. You should, it should be in a museum! Let's see, what room is this? Whoa, what the fuck? This room is really giving you the creeps. You hear something breathing. Something else, you mean, besides you. I'm getting out of here. Just as you passed into the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed into it against the other side. I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. Rest of house navigable, over. Considered utilizing flashlight over? You mean the one filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please, over. No use dwelling on past, over. Doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something over? Yeah, um, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, I recommend focus on restoring power before sun sets completely over. Oh, geez, you're right. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. 
Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over unsecured channel. Over and out. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage. Over. That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement. Over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. Nice. Let's see. Uh, I think I've interacted with all this stuff. Pause major totem of power. The clunky gadget controls the TV, the garage door, toaster, thermostat, and basically everything of else with the charge rushing running through it. It's pretty hefty. Yeah, it's it's kind of funny how uh, you know we're, we're seeing that craze again, but just there's been that periodic uh, uh, like pe people selling the idea that you should be able to have a remote for just you know everything in your home, not just your your, your TV and your audio equipment and whatever. That yeah, like every everything you have should be. Uh, uh, remote control, your lights and stuff, uh, and, you know, long before the days of, uh, putting, like, uh, Wi-Fi chips and everything, like, you know, internet of shit stuff, uh, you know, people were doing it by, uh, by radio control and, and selling systems for it, and, uh, I don't know, it always just, it always seemed really faddish, like, I never, I never knew anyone who actually had any of that stuff. Oh, are you using, like, Nest or whatever one of those schemes is? A beanbag chair. Super comfy and thankfully not filled with real beans. You can take a nap, but you've kind of got a lot going on right now, you know? Okay. Uh, there's... For doors. Okay, what door is this? Kitchen, looks like. The power is off, and as such, your fax machine, fax machine, is basically useless. This is an unacceptable state of affairs. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. Speaking of which, I'm going to disappear for a minute to get something to drink.
Okay, sorry, that took a bit longer than a minute. I also had forgotten that I had laundry. So, just a sec, I will be right back to the game. <sighs> had to flash the ash there. Ah, anyway. Oh, and I totally appreciate what you have to say about uh, everything being slightly broken all the time. I'm not sure why the trash is piled next to the fridge. Even animals know better than to let their food fraternize at their waste. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Again, it's like, holy shit, kid. You're, you're raised by an alcoholic babysitter who, who leaves the house looking like fucking this. I don't know, like, how old you two are supposed to be. Like, you know, it's it seems unfair to... to, to to say, well, you should be cleaning up more, you know, Joey. You know, ugh. Look, you're not saying you never have home-cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef, even. It's just, well, none of you like doing dishes. And the nice thing about takeout is you can eat it, just eat it right out of the boxes, and then throw the boxes away. Of course, none of you really like taking out the trash, either. Okay. Let's see, sorry, just a second checking. Uh, that, that, all right. So, the sink is full of dirty dishes. Someone should clean these up. So, let's do the dishes. No way, no way! You did them last time. It's Jude's turn now. You know what? After he completely ditched you from the treehouse earlier, maybe it can be Jude's turn for quite some time. Cute. There are monsters out there watching, working up an appetite. Oh, is that the, the, the door? Did I actually... It's a little hard to tell what I clicked on there. Yeah, that was the door. Okay. So... Alright, yeah, here we go. 
the tube highway that Jude's pet uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I only just noticed that. It's running everywhere. I mean, that's pretty cool. I'd love to have that for the cats, actually. Or for the snake, for that matter. Oh, there's like a spider in a web. Hey, Spidey. Uh, doesn't look like... Looks like I just have to go out here. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever since your pa left him here months ago. Interesting! So, there's a part of the house you can't see. Yeah, not a lot of chance of your being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Okay, well, I mean, flashlight. Oh! Right. Uh, can I look at the drawers? You're even out of dog food? Things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for groceries at what was retrospectively the worst possible time. Oh, God. So wait. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. Turn the radio off. Presumably I can cannibalize the radio. Also, what is this? Your babysitter just has really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is just really crummy. Nice. Hmm, the radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional despite not being plugged in. You might be onto something here. I don't know anything of Homestuck either, Kalen. Open the battery compartment. Oh, okay, good. If this batter if this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spookitude to business clad spookitude. And frankly, you can't afford that. If there's <laughs> to blame for what? Jackpot! D cells! You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes, either. Okay. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of any of these creeps that get too close. Although, that's a last resort, of course. Oh good, you automatically deploy it. It's nice to know. It's a machine designed to take your clothes and wash them. You call it a washing machine. It serves its purpose admirably on the rare occasion a human being is willing to cooperate. Wait, I don't think I could steal the leftover Chinese. All neat and folded. Wait, who did that? Ha ah, ha, just kidding. This is obviously dirty. Your pa brought this home as a souvenir. There's nobody inside it. It's kind of like a metaphor, you guess. Eh, you're not sure you want to start down the road of analyzing your life as if it were a work of fiction. A souvenir from your pa after his trip to Hawaii. He'd been exploring the Pacific a lot lately for some reason, or so he mentioned offhandedly a few years ago. You assume he's still doing that due to you not having any fresher data, or particularly caring one way or another where the hell he is. Pa loves his blue lady's portrait so much he keeps redundant backups scattered around. 
because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on the psychological thread because you have important work to do, and who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? Alright, second. Let's see here. It's a taxidermied narwhal. Uh oh! Oh, <laughs> So basically, he did the, the, the closest. He did the closest thing that it is possible to get on this planet to killing and stuffing a fucking unicorn. That's how much of an asshole her dad is. Holy fucking shit! Anyway, uh, luckily for him, he had this big house to dump off the animals he murders and the kids he doesn't want to raise. Your baby, your babysitter sometimes cracks into your paw's special reserve, but she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it or if you have any business saying anything about it at all. Maybe it's because you grew up in a house where nobody really cooks, but you have no idea what to do with these cooking implements. Food, the great mystery. Forgotten skiing stuff. No basement is complete without it, and your extremely limited experience. With your paw's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of the stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. Try to move one box and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble. That's the ticket. Boom! Boxes go flying in all directions. Now you look so glum again. You had fun. Uh, I like I like somehow it all went bang and then just reassembled itself uh, you know ten feet away. That's pretty impressive. After the circuit breaker is pretty clear now, nothing really stopping you from, you know, doing something with that. You cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever. Flip the breaker and... Okay. Ah! Uh... I gotta get away. Step on it. Uh, uh, how? I don't know what I did. I, I have no idea what I just did. Is it a little rhythm game? Uh, 
I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So there's a spinny thing. That seems to... Uh, First I thought it was sort of spinning up and slowing down, but I think that's just the motion of my eyes again when it's doing that. I don't know what I'm doing, Kalen! I'm doing, I don't know what to do differently. Ah, uh, I might just quit the stream at this point. Like, I, I do have to start worrying about going to bed for work. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I'm, I'm like completely at a loss here. I, I just got to, to, to look up how to fight or something like that. Yeah, anyway, I, I really don't have to, what else to do, because I'm not going to just sit here and do the same fucking thing over and over again. Doing the same what exactly? It's point and click, you say. Okay, so what am I? I must. Well, uh, I mean, okay, but I haven't really time to, to struggle with this right now. And it's not really fun. Anyway, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, I think I'm probably gonna, like, watch a, a playthrough or something like that. Um, you know, before I go back to this. Anyway, uh, this is... On a somewhat sour note, Kara Dreamer signing off.